you, Matt. You've, sat, you've just said that. Thank you. Go ahead. Joss, what are your immediate reflections on that? Yeah, uh, yeah disappointing. Um, I think we're outplayed by India. Um, they fully deserved the victory. Um, so, yeah, I thought, you know, they had an had a above par score. I um, was hoping to restrict them to sort of 145, 150 probably on, on that pitch. So, um, yeah, it was always going to be a tough chase from there. Do you think that was a, a failure of, of plans or execution? Um, a little bit of both. I thought they played well as well. Uh, I thought we bowled a little bit without luck in the in the power play. Um, you know, a few close calls there. Um, but yeah, I think you know, yeah, when, and benefit of hindsight and reflecting, um, you know, I would have got Moeen in the game, of, of course. Um, so yeah, so bits and pieces here and there. See, with hindsight again, is there anything you would have done differently in, in selection or at the toss? Uh, not at the toss. Um, I don't think that was the difference between the two sides. We we thought long and hard about selection, about um, whether we kept the same balance that we'd been playing with, with that had been working well, uh, um, or did we need um, four seamers on that partic particular wicket. So, um, yeah, I think mean, that was a really tough call that we, we made and we ended up sticking with what we had. But um, yeah, I think India played a really good game of cricket at whatever team or whatever happened at the toss or whatever. They were going to be a tough team to be and we had to be at our best if we were going to win the game and, and we were short of our best today. Appreciate it straight after the defeat, but how do you reflect on the tournament as a whole and reaching this stage and the time of elimination? Yeah, I think, um, you know, there's reaching a semi-final of a World Cup is, is a, an achievement. Um, we wanted to obviously go all the way. That was what we came here for. Um, that we faced some lots of challenges and adversity throughout the whole tournament and we've stuck together well and, and played well enough to get to this stage. But um, unfortunately, at this stage, we've fallen short. Do you feel like the team is still making progress and or are there going to have to be big changes after this? Uh, no, I, th I think um, you know, I look back to sort of Leeds when we all met up. I think everyone um, has made progress and we've, we've played well and um, not well enough. But you know, I think the stuff that we've been doing behind the scenes, the, the way we've prepared, the way we've trained, uh, the way we've played in patches has been, been really good. And there's a lot of talent in the team. Um, and yeah, we came up against a, a top team today in, in these conditions. Just in terms of what comes next, obviously there's a long time until you next play. What will you sort of reflect on in those few months? Um, to be honest, I'm just looking forward to some time away from the game. I think um, I sit here, you know, emotional after a loss. I don't, you don't need to sort of dive too deep into it right now. I just look forward to some space from the game. VJ, go ahead, please. Just uh, <coughs> the ball was turning uh, viciously, and there were close in fielders very close to the bat, and ball was also staying low. At any point of time, did you feel like playing to be playing in India for a Test series? Although you were not there in the Test series, but did it feel like an Indian pitch? Uh, no, I think um, you know, everyone knew what to expect from this wicket. I think traditionally it, the bounce is low, um, and yeah, I thought India played really well, and they played the conditions better than we did. And uh, if I can ask, take the liberty to ask you any thoughts on the final, who could be uh, thinking, who could be doing well? I think, um, you know, the two top sides, um, you know, in the final, it's going to be a game of small margins and uh, it's going to be a yeah, great game, two really good teams. Do we have any more questions here in the room before we go to the media hub in Barbados? Okay, I think we'll take some questions from Barbados, so hopefully you can hear us, you should be able to hear it. Go ahead, please. <laughs> Can you just answer that one again, please? Sorry, I'm, I'm saying that after two World Cups in, in six months, you've got a few older players, senior players in the team. Would you expect the next sort of time we see this England team to be a, a, a bit of a fresher team, a couple of changes to, to freshen things up? Yeah, I think... Um, I can't do that. Last one and then we'll have to go. Can you get it sorted out? I can't talk. Right, go ahead, go ahead. Ready? Um, yeah, I think... Um, no, it's, you know, just sat here and taking in the the defeat. It's um, you know, very much thinking about this game and, and what happened. Um, and yeah, I think they say there's some time between today and, and the next matches, and we can see what happens. Take another one, please. Yeah. 
Can't do that. So I'm sorry, I can't hear your question, so I can't. No. 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 So we say we go and win, cause there's no way we giving in. No giving up, so we say we go and bring all of the fight where we are from within. No stalling, so we do it broadly. I can hear the greatness calling. So my ballin' is a infantry.